Hi! Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your second installment of the Counting Your Blessings Weekend Series for your turning point the weekend of November the 12th and 13th in episode not uh, 390 um 5 395 I'm having to, uh, this is a second recording of this I've had almost over 10 minutes of nothing but talking and I hadn't even got in I just finished reading the passage and so they gotta worry about the pausing I had a couple spots I paused so but this is your second numbers to be thankful for and the number three last week we talked about the number four now this week we talk about number three first Corinthians 13 13 being the main verse and then we're gonna read first Corinthians 13 and it is just 13 verses so and I just read it and then I realized I was over 10 minutes so, but if you're excited about this we'll smash the like button smashing the like button will help the video reach other people and if you do that and if you'll get to the four like goal on at least five to six hundred of my daily Devo videos and then for two hundred of the turning point these videos at four likes only I will I will appreciate you but how was your how was your glorious Lord's Day Sunday how was your weekend? Let me know. And uh, our turning point today is from, for this one is Haddon Anderson. H-A-D-D-O-N. And our scripture is Acts 4, chapters 4 through 7. I hope you read 4, 4 and 5 yesterday and read 6 and 7 today. So, without further ado, let's talk about numbers to be thankful for. Number three. I'm, I'm going to redo everything. So, but let's let's turn in your Bibles to First Corinthians chapter thirteen, and chapter and verse. I'm going to go to verse thirteen is the verse I was looking for this in this morning's video. In my morning, the uh, daily days of praise video this morning. Eight o'clock, eight o'clock video. That was the one I was looking for. Hey, come, stay in there. I should have left it open, but I didn't. Boogity, boogity, boo, 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 boogity, boogity. Boo, 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 boo. boo. It's talking about love. I think this is the love chapter. <laughs> so though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become nothing. Bra I become sounding brass or tr clanging cymbal. And though I have to get the prophecy and understand all mysteries and of all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could never, that I could remove mountains. But have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long. Four through seven is the main the some ones you need to read. Love suffers long in its kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails, but whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I become a man, 
I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know that just as I also am known, just as I am. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. So basically, there's the, there's the point of today's devotion. Three. Those three. Faith, hope, and love. And that was the first I was looking for this morning. In the, in the um, morning video. So at the 1990... Wait a minute. At the 1990 FIFA World Cup, the three greatest tenors in the world came together to sing for the first time. Placidio Domingo, Jose Carreras, and Luciano Pavarotti. If I if I butchered those names, I'm sorry. That Pavarotti I could pronounce. Those other ones is they had little marks above their names and the response was beyond belief, and the three went on to record albums and tours in stadiums all over the world. They were known as the three tenors. So in the New Testament, the three tenors of faith, hope, and love make repeated appearances. The Apostle Paul often gr grouped these three in a harmonious, harmonious whole and emphasized them. Spiritual maturity is found in trusting God with all our problems. Faith. Remaining optimistic in life. Hope. And caring more for others than for ourselves. Love. So why is, the, why is love the greatest of these? When we, faith, when we place our faith in Christ and develop a hopeful attitude, the stage is set for our love to flourish. And love is the fulfillment of all the law. So thank God for his tremendous trio of spirit-inspired attitudes to rule your mind today. Amen? So your turning point today is from Haddon Anderson. H-A-D-D-O-N. Haddon. It says, Faith and hope are in one sense means to an even greater end, without which they would be incomplete. They transform us so that our lives overflow with Christ-like love. That's very good. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about any pausing in my video about after what happened in the in the previous you ain't gonna be seeing that. That one's already been deleted. So, but so with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I sped through it a little bit more to make make a point. So, all my rambling and but um. But I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on a trusted guy. And it'll keep you safe. And all you say and do in 2022 and beyond. On a, and until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long. Farewell. Come back tomorrow for another fantastic Monday. Where we will be talking about episode 903. Part 1, we'll be talking about the next The Series video and number 124. And we'll be talking about the definition of faith. Beginning with Hebrews 11, verse 1. And Hebrews 11 is the faith chapter. So, all from Henry M. Morris. At 903, part 2, we're going to be talking about the love of God. From Kenneth Peterson, derived from Psalm 57. So, and in tomorrow night's Turning Point, episode 
396. We're going to be talking about B. We're going to be learning how to be careful. James 1, 2, and 3 is our main passage. But we'll be reading it in the recommended reading. James 1, 1 through 7. Our turning point is from Sinclair Ferguson. Wow, that's a different, a new name. And in our Bible reading, it's Acts 8 and 9. Chapters 8 and 9. So stay tuned for those. I'll get to those in a later, sometime later tonight. But you'll see those tomorrow. So with that said, God bless everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great rest of your evening, everybody, and weekend. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow for more from God. Goodbye.